Hello everybody and welcome to my next video. In this video we'll be taking a look at PC Linux OS, one of arguably I should say one of the best Linux distributions out there or at least one of the most popular and complete. PC Linux OS originally started off as a group of RPMs that were released to enhance the Linux experience in Mandrake Linux. Mandrake Linux eventually evolved into Mandriva. About the time of the 9.x versions of Mandrake slash Mandriva, Techstar, the user behind the RPMs used to enhance the original Mandrake experience, forked uh, Mandrake slash Mandriva and created PC Linux OS. It has now moved on far beyond to become its own entity, and it's a fantastic one at that. The concentration here for the developers is obviously the out-of-box experience. Install PC Linux OS and you can become productive almost immediately. What we have in front of you today in this video is the Mate version. I haven't really used Mate that much. So I thought it would be good to show this video and uh, also introduce myself and the users here watching the video to the Mate desktop. PC Linux OS is aiming to be a complete experience from post install. So when it comes to things like um, MP3 support, uh, various video format supports, YouTube support, PC Linux OS has that right from the get-go. A couple good deal things about PC Linux OS is the update manager. As we can see over here, no updates found. I did perform some updates. There was quite a few. Uh, we'll check in the background and tell you when there are updates available. And given the rolling release model of this uh, distro uh, distribution, uh, you will be, um, I guess, the suggestions would be at least to update as things become available. Also, we have here on the bottom uh, taskbar indications for a wireless or wired Ethernet. Right now, we're using wired Ethernet, a clipboard manager. Great thing to have. You can multiple clips can be uh, stored in the manager. We see that it, uh, the audio for the mixer and an indicator showing that it's a laptop battery. It's not a laptop battery. I'll just put it out there. It's actually attached to a UPS, but same difference. I would call the default Mate desktop as cute. Let's describe it like that. It's not ugly. Uh, it's not exactly what I would keep, but this is what it looks like post install. Um, everything is here. Sorry. The default file manager is Kaja. And it's pretty complete, if, if a little bit Spartan. Browse the network, of course, uh, within the. Um, users folder that you create um, you have a number of subfolders music downloads templates etc which goes a long way in aiding the organization of all your documents and files <clears throat> over here we have of course another way to launch Kaja the default file manager we have the Almighty terminal and we have a configuration center. Now this is interesting. Coming from Mandrake slash Mandriva Linux, one thing that PC Linux OS did inherit was the fantastic um, control center. They've taken it a little bit further, but the main premise is the same allow almost any user to configure most aspects of the operating system without having to dig deep into the uh, 
command line. And there's some interesting things too. If you want to create a small server, you can configure FTP, configure a web server right from the control center. Network services, configure DHCP, proxy, SSH, configure DNS, configure time. A lot of things in here that would work well in a small server environment, although PC Linux OS is not considered a quote unquote uh, server oriented um, uh, Linux distribution. Here we have hardware, browse and configure, sound configuration, configure video card. Uh, I'll open that up so you'll see. It's quite simple what graphic card you have, uh, the monitor, what's, what's it capable of and the resolution you presently have set. So it's pretty simple. Uh, we have a lot of other things such as set up your printer, set up the printer, print job, set up a scanner, a UPS for power monitoring, move on to network and internet. As you can see quite readily, uh, configuring PC Linux OS the way you want it and what you want it to do is quite simple. We have shared the internet connection with others, configure VPN. Uh, it's, it's quite extensive. Authentication. And the tools range from newbie friendly to advanced user usable. I mean, it's stuff like authentication. Uh, what kind of authentication? This, this is not something that a newbie is going to want to do, but if you know what you're doing, it's great to have it there in a graph with a graphical front end. Uh, network sharing, of course, Samba and whatnot. And it'll tell you, for example, Samba has yet to be installed, so do you want to install it? Okay. So it's not just telling you it's not working, Samba's not installed. It's also offering you to install Samba, which is fantastic. Again, another newbie-friendly touch. And when you're doing that, it'll automatically update the app get file list. Uh, yes, the default package manager for PC Linux OS is apt get. Very simple to use. And uh, pretty much to the facto standard on a lot of different distributions out there. Now that we're out of the control center, well, let's go back in there. We have local disk, managing disk partition, security, personal firewall, which you can set up, uh, interfaces and firewall, configure authentication for the tools. You can have boot, you can set up to auto login automatically, set up your display manager, set up the boot system. So much that can be done here. It's, uh, it's quite a tour de force in uh, Linux configuration. When we move to the start menu, <laughs> I said start menu. When we move to the program menu, we see uh, one of the pluses and minuses of PC Linux OS. The plus is it really has a large collection of pretty useful software. Um, running software, documentation, of course, editors, file utilities, games, which... I've mentioned before, not my big thing, but they only have one here, which is okay. Graphics, Internet, Firefox being the default browser, but you can install any you want quite easily. Skype, Thunderbird included. Um, Office is blank for now, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you would usually want to see, let's say, LibreOffice here, but it doesn't come in the ISO that you install. You would click on LibreOffice Manager for example, and it would actually go out and load it and install it for you. So that's pretty interesting, which it's doing right now. Which is, in my opinion, pretty good. Keeps the size of the ISO down and the download down and gives the option of putting it on whether you want it or not. So you have LibreOffice Manager, which can be installed that way. Localization Manager, that's if you want to add languages to your system, you can choose different languages. Here's the Update Notifier, which we saw in the taskbar. Synaptic, which is the Package Manager. And the VirtualBox Manager, which will allow you to install 
uh, Sun's virtual box. Well, it's not Sun anymore. Oracle has runs it now for a few years. So Oracle virtual box virtual machine software manager software. Then we have Sound Clementine, which is one of my favorite players, and a lot of other stuff. VLC, of course. We have uh, Places, which is a quick way to get to you wherever you want to go with respect to uh, your folders. For example, if you have something full screen here, you can always, when you can't access these icons, you can always get them from Places. Then we have System Preferences administration control center uh, this is one of the uh, issues with PC and Linux OS let me close this this is just the LibreOffice wanting to install there's a lot of good software here but the organization of it could have been better when you go up to more applications it's just more layers upon layers of more software uh, some of it are, are Repetition, of course, virtual box manager, we already saw it down below. Uh, monitoring, okay, that's fine. More terminals, we have the terminal here, we have the terminal there, we have... It, it's, it's something they can improve upon, streamlining the file menu. And it doesn't matter what version of PC Linux, whether it's Mate, KDE, it's, or XFCE, it, it looks pretty much the same. But... I will not take any points off for this. It's something you can easily get used to. But the the core working of this Linux distribution is fantastic. I did an experiment at one time where I had a friend install Linux on a desktop computer and I counted the amount of service calls I would get from them in the middle of the night panicking, how do I do this, how do I do that? And it was PC Linux OS, and this is a couple years ago. I received just one phone call, and it wasn't about something that wasn't work. It was asking me if something will work, but they hadn't tried it as yet. They asked me, if I plug my camera in, will PC Linux be able to see the camera and pull the files off? I said, well, you know, the various videos and pictures. And I said to her, just do it. She plugged it in. Boom, it worked. I don't know if it was K-Photo or something popped up. and That's the only call I got. Well, that shows you how well put together PC and Linux OS, because this person was strictly Windows. Um, it's a fantastic choice for those who wish to get their feet wet in Linux, and absolutely highly recommend it. Performance is great. Support in the forums is fantastic and it's just a very nicely polished distribution that I would recommend to oh, pretty much anybody out there who wants to uh, give Linux a try or you know wants a change so that's it hope you enjoyed my little short review slash list of observations about PC Linux OS, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.